Hey everybody, welcome to WrestleCon 2017 in the house. Can we hear it? Hey! There it is. I'm not going to take too much of your time. It's going to be a long day and a long weekend for all of us. So I'm just going to get right to it. Uh, some people would say right now we're in the middle of a women's wrestling revolution, even though it's been going on for about 40 years, 50 years. That's okay. We'll give it. We'll give them credit now. We're gonna, yeah, we'll give them credit, right? So the women's revolution started the first day the woman stepped into the ring. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. That's right. All right. We're talking all walks of life. We're talking tall, short, big. Did you hear that? That's what I bring. That's Short, I tall, big, small, every color, every religion, the revolution started years ago. So, even though I'm just gonna put it out there that I am from the golden era and uh, the lost era, I have seen a lot of changes. It's been wonderful and I'm glad that I got to experience the things that I did. I got to wrestle Mula. That's what's up. Oh yeah, baby. What's up? I even inducted her into the Hall of Fame. That was an, an honor. And then I got to wrestle many, many women throughout the career of my career. Fast forward real quick and we'll get into everything else. Where the revolution is now, where the women's wrestling is, is where I've always wanted to be. And I'm a hardcore wrestler. I like to punch. I'm stiff. I like to sometimes make people bleed. But I like realism. I know it's entertainment, but my background, a lot of it is Japanese women's wrestling, and that's what started. That's what really where I honed my craft and brought it back to the States. So as far as women's revolution, it's going to change in every era, continuing with the young and continuing with the ones and the legends and, and in the future. I just want to say it's a pleasure and an honor to be here with this legend, Medusa. Let's give her a round of applause. Well, thank you, and Miss. No, Leva. Leva. Yeah, our oh. blue pants. Leva, tell me about you. You're you're brilliant. You're bright. <laughs> you're colorful. I, uh, I am mostly known as Blue Pants. That's legitimately my name, Blue Pants. Uh, I kind of came out at NXT, and it was like a weird lightning in a bottle moment where like the crowd started chanting Blue Pants. And we just rolled with it. Uh, Whatever works, right? I'm a ball of energy. I bounce around. I'm ridiculous. I wear crazy costumes. I I am just insanity. <laughs> well, we like crazy. So. We like young. We go. What's your style of wrestling? Uh, I I trained with the Dudley Boys actually. Oh. So yeah. So three D. So. Uh, you learn a little bit about mat wrestling. You learn a little bit of, uh, of everything. You learn a bit of promos, uh, mostly storytelling. Right. It's the art of storytelling because that's what wrestling is about. It's about telling your story within the ring. Uh, but you learn everything there. They even have a personal trainer. So it's really, really all-encompassing school. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm one of the Dudleys. Full-color <laughs> kind of girl all yeah. around the spectrum. Jazz, baby. What's up? What's up? Now, this is one woman I really, really, really would have loved to wrestle. I hey, really... we still can make this happen. It's never too late, baby. We got one small well, we got breath in our right body. Here. We can make this happen. I have a show tomorrow. I'll book that right now. Hey, hey, hey. Where's my boss? Go. Get out the checkbook. All right, let's... Um, I've heard some wonderful stories about you. Oh, God. Oh, God. I know y'all remember Jazz's Give It Up, huh? Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. Strong, vivacious. Tell me, what era were you in when you were wrestling? The kick ass. The era. kick. <laughs> the kick ass era. I like that answer. Yes, yes, yes. It was, you know, I started out with the original ECW. ECW with yeah. Paul Heyman. Yeah, with Paul original Heyman. Paul Heyman girl. And He's I never. Tommy and I Dreamer. Did, yeah, Tommy Dreamer, yes, yes. Yes, They gave me my first opportunity, you know, and I was in there with all the guys. There were no girls for me to wrestle for a while, so I ended up, they just put me in the ring with nothing but the men, so. Who were some of the first girls you wrestled with? Oh, wow. Um, girl named, goes by Riptide. Riptide. Angel Orsini. Angel Orsini. Yeah, she was there. Um, uh, Miss Congeniality before she was Lita. 
Ah, yes. Yes, yes. And then there's only two until I actually stepped foot in uh, WWE ring, what, WWF, when I started the program with Trish Stratus. And how did that go? Oh, uh, that, was, that was the moneymaker right there. <laughs> uh, I remember that feud very well. Uh, I would watch every week just to see her run down the ramp and whoop her ass. Yeah. Oh. You mean her, her whoop Trish Stratus' ass? Yeah. That's what, yeah. I, right That's what I thought. That's what Trish Stratus' ass. Because I don't think Trish Stratus could whoop your ass. <laughs> I mean, really. both ways, yeah, but you know, there, sometimes I got mine booked too. So, but you know. entertainment value, yes. I mean, Trish Stratus is, was the walking money machine over there at the time. You got to give her credit. She, she was beautiful. Right here. <laughs> there uh -huh. at the right time, and they grasped it and they ran with her and made a lot of programs yes. with Trish Stratus. Trish was fun. She was actually fun to work with. She yes. really was. I mean, and she cared. With her, I took. We she took. We went all the way to WrestleMania 18. So exactly. You know, hats off. You got to give kudos where kudos That's are due. That's it. That's it. I believe in giving people their props, baby.